welcome to today's lesson. We're going to be looking at topics under the standard 1.2 and under the topics under the study island lesson called linear equations. And we're basically going to be looking at how to solve two-step equations. And as we're going through these problems, please be taking notes so that you have something to refer to when you try these on your own in the study prompt. And if I go too fast, just go ahead and pause the video and rewind and get caught back up. And then you can also pause at the beginning of a question, work the problem out, see what you get for an answer, and then watch the video to see if it matches, and then you can get a gauge for what you're doing right and what you need to work on still, which is a really helpful tool also. So I'm so glad that you're joining us today, and let's go ahead and take some notes. As part of these problems, you might be writing equations from word problems. So when you're writing equations from word problems, there's some keywords that you're going to need to know, you know, does this mean addition, subtracting, multiplication, division, or equality, or equal sign. So the words that you're going to see that mean addition are the sum, more than, plus, added to, and increased by. And so here, what you need to be aware of, though, is this more than is going to flip it. So if you look... 5 more than a number, that 5 was at the beginning, it's at the end when it's translated. A number or x was at the end, it's at the beginning. Anytime you see that than, more than, less than, it always flips it. So you want to be watching out for that. And the same with the added to. That's also going to flip it. So if you look here, 13 was at the beginning, it's at the end, a number, x, that was at a number is at the end, x is at the beginning. So those two, you just want to make sure you get them written in the right order. Subtraction, the words that we're going to see that see subtraction is less than, decreased by, minus, subtracted from, and difference between. And the two there that we have to look for the flips are the less than, and the subtracted from. So here, three's at the beginning, a number at the end, a number's at the beginning, three's at the end. It got flipped. And the same with the subtracted from. The words here that be multiplication are times, multiplied by twice means to multiply by two, of, and a product. Of, that little word often gets missed in word problems, and every single time it means multiplication. So, and that one's really helped me out a lot in my math career is recognizing that of means to multiply. And then division is quotient divided by and ratio. And then equality, that just means the, what means equal, equal sign. The word is always means equals, or you could also have the word equal. Our first problem here gives us a word problem that we have to translate into the equation. So we're not solving them yet, we're just translating. It says, at the beginning of the week, Paloma opens a new box of 225 coffee creamers. 47 coffee creamers were used during the week. Which equation could be used to find X, the number of coffee creamers left at the end of the week? So if you have then X is the number left, 47 is the number used, and the total is 225. So if I take the number that are used and add it to the number that's being left, that's going to give me 225. So here, x is the number we had left. 47 was used, and 225 was the total. So this equation here in letter A is going to be the equation I could use. This question is the same idea. We're translating an equation from a problem, a word problem. So here, Courtney sold 50 cantaloupes at the farmer's market and had 29 left. Which equation could be used to find X, the number of cantaloupes Courtney originally had? So originally she had X cantaloupes. She sold 50 of those at the farmer's market and had 29 left. So if I subtract from the original amount the 29 that she had left, 
that's going to leave me with the 50 cantaloupes she sold. So this is one equation that you could use to solve it. And there's other ones that you could write, but this is the one that's in the answer. So that's going to make my answer D. So when we go to actually solve these equations, there's going to be problems where you have parentheses and problems where you have you don't have parentheses. So when you don't have parentheses, your first step is going to be to undo the addition or subtraction. And your second step is going to be to undo the multiplication or division. These are the most common ones that you're going to see in seventh grade. However, every now and then in seventh grade, you'll see ones that have parentheses. So the first job is to isolate the parentheses. So what that means is you're either going to undo the addition or subtraction outside of the parentheses, or you're going to undo the multiplication and division outside of the parentheses. And then once you do that, the parentheses go away. And then you either do step three or four, because you only have to do two steps. You undo the addition or subtraction that's left, or you'll undo the multiplication or division that's left. So let's look at some examples so maybe those notes take make a little bit more sense. So here I do not have parentheses, so my first step is to remove the addition or subtraction. So here I have a plus 3, and I'm just going to draw a line down the equal sign just to help me keep my left and right side straight. So to undo addition, the opposite of addition is subtraction, so that means I'm going to have to subtract 3 from both sides to undo that addition. So those ones cancel out, and I'm left with just 3x on the left. And then 24 minus 3 is 21. That's the first step. My second step is to undo the division or multiplication. So here I have 3 times x. To undo that multiplication, I'm going to do division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And when I divide both sides by 3, these 3's cancel, and I'm left with just x. And 21 divided by 3 is 7, and so x is going to equal 7, my final answer, which is going to be a. So then I can also go through and check these. And the way that I can check them, and it's a great idea to check because you know for sure you got that problem right once you check it, is I'm going to replace this x with the 7 because I just found out that 7 and x are the same. So I'm going to go through and put 3 times 7 plus 3, and I'm going to see if that does actually equal 24. So I have to do my multiplication first. 3 times 7 is 21 plus 3. 21 plus 3 is 24. So it does actually equal 24, so it checks out. Here I'm solving once again, and there's no parentheses. So I'm just, so I can keep my two sides straight, I'm going to draw a straight line down my equals. My first step is to undo addition or subtraction. Well here I have subtraction minus 1, the opposite of subtracting 1 is adding 1. So I'm going to add 1 to both sides, and that's going to cause these ones to cancel, and I'll just be left with the 4x equals, and then 11 plus 1 is 12. My second step is to undo multiplication or division. I have multiplication here, 4 times x, so to undo that, I'm going to divide both sides by 4. And these 4's are going to cancel, and I'm left with x equals, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. And then I'm going to want to go ahead and check that real quick. So 4 times 3, the answer that I got, minus 1. I'm going to see, does that actually equal this 11? So 4 times 3 is 12. Minus 1 is 11. So here, this 11 and 11, they check out, so that is going to be my final answer, which is choice C. So here I'm solving again, and there's no parentheses. So I have x divided by 4 minus 9 equals 6. Don't forget, a fraction bar means division. So once again, to keep my side straight, I'm going to draw a line down my equal sign. My first step is always to undo addition or subtraction. So here I have a minus 9, so I'm going to undo that by adding 9 to both sides. And I'm going to cancel those out. And that's going to leave you with x divided by 4 equals 6 plus 9 is 15. 
And then my next step is to undo multiplication or division. Well, here I have a divide by 4, so the opposite of dividing by 4 is multiplying by 4. So I'm going to multiply by 4 on both sides. And that's going to cancel these 4's out. I'm going to just be left with x equals, and then 15 times 4 is 60. So my final answer here is 60, and I can always go through and double check that real quick. So I'm going to replace the x with 60 over 4 minus 9. So I just rewrote this, but only with the x, I put a 60 this time. And I want to see if I work this out, will that give me 6? So here, 60 divided by 4 is 15. 15 minus 9, that is 6. So it checks out because both of the equations equal 6. So my final answer here is definitely that x equals 60. Okay, so here's a problem. They give us this word problem, and then they already give us the equation. So we don't have to do that part. The word problem says Tabitha was shooting free throws in gym class. She completed 10 of the shots, which was one half of five more than Joan completed. And so it wants to know how many feet free throws F did Joan make. So it wants us to solve it for F. So here I do have parentheses this time. So remember my first step is to undo any operation outside of the parentheses. So outside of the parentheses I have this one half times. So the opposite of multiplying by one half is to divide both sides by one half. And so that's going to cancel out the one halves and then I can drop the parentheses, so then I'm just left with f plus 5. But remember, when you are dividing by a fraction, that means that you have to multiply by the reciprocal. So 10, so what that means is I'm going to, the 10 stays, the division changes to multiplication, and I flip the second fraction. That's how we divide by a fraction is we multiply by the reciprocal which means flip the fraction so then I just multiply the tops and so this is going to equal 10 times 2 is 20 1 times 1 is 1 so 20 over 1 is the same as just 20 so now I have f plus 5 equals 20 and then my last step is going to be to undo this addition so I undo that by subtracting 5 from both sides you can draw that line to keep everything straight here these cancel, and I'm left with f equals 20 minus 5 is 15, and that's going to be my final answer, which is a. Thank you for joining us today, and I hope you learned something new.